An encoder is the reverse of a decoder. So recall in the last lab, the exercise was to create a decoder. A decoder, let's say a 3 to 8 line decoder, will have 3 inputs and 8 outputs. Let's say if these are x, y, z and outputs d0 up to d7. And only one of the output signals is asserted and all of the others are deasserted. That is only one of the output signals is 1 and all of the others are 0 depending on the input combination. So the input combination points to the index of the output which should be asserted. For example, if x, y, z is 1, 0, 0, this is value 4. So d, d4 is asserted and all of the others are deasserted. De this is a binary decoder. An encoder would be the opposite of that. Okay. So d0 to d7 are the inputs and x, y, z are the outputs. This is a 8 to 3 encoder. So depending on the input bit which is high, the corresponding binary value should appear on the output x, y, z. For example, if d4 is high and all the others are 0, then the output should be 1, 0, 0. So let's see the truth table for a octal to binary encoder. So these are the inputs. So if D0 is 1, then output should be 0, 0, 0, pointing to the index which is asserted. If D1 is 1, then output should be 1. Let's say if D5 is 1 and all the others are 0, then this, this should be 5. So 1, so this is the combination corresponding to D5 and so on. Fair enough. What is the problem? This truth table does not indicate all of the rows, right? So there are 8 inputs. So there are 2 raised to 8 possible combinations. So 2 raised to 8 rows should be there in the truth table. So what should be there? What should be the output when you don't have valid input combinations? What, what about a combination where there are multiple ones occurring? Or all of them are 0? So multiple bits could be 1. All of the bits could be 0, all these are possible. And what should be the output for such input combinations? So we as a designer get to define what should be the output. Okay. Either we could say that only some of these uh, input combinations are valid. So we may have a valid output, which is 1 for all of these combinations. And 1 valid equal to 1 indicates that this encoder output is a valid output. And for any other input combination, for example, let's say if this is 1 and this is 1, then this is an invalid combination, then valid bit should be 0. And this could be anything, or this could be 0, or this could be anything. So it's up to the designer to decide what this should be. So that is one way. We need to have a valid bit, indicating that the input combination was invalid. Okay, And only if the input combination is valid, should the other output bits make sense or should be, uh, should indicate the index of the bit which was high. So that's one way. And another way is to give priority to the input bits. So this is a simple encoder with a valid output bit. We'll now move on to a priority encoder. We could give some priorities to each of these outputs. And in this case, for example, when D7 and D6 are both 1, we'll give a higher priority to D7. We'll say that if D7 is 1, irrespective of what are the other inputs, I will treat the output as 7. Okay. So if D7 is 1, then the output should be 1, 1, 1 corresponding to 7 and valid bit should be 1. If D6 and D7 are 1, D7 has a priority. But if D7 is 0 and D6 is 1, irrespective of the other bits, D6 is 1. So the output should be 1, 1, 0 and so on. So we give some priorities to these inputs. The highest priority to D7, then D6 and so on. And that would be a priority encoder. It encodes the position or it encodes the index of the input which is asserted 
with the highest priority okay so what would be the truth table for such a encoder so let's try to derive the truth table okay if let's let's take a example of a four input this okay so d0 to d3 are inputs and you need only two bits for the output and a valid bit so if d3 is 1 then irrespective of the value of d2 d1 or d0 since d3 has the highest priority we should interpret this as index 3 and choose this so this is 1 1 and valid is 1 but if d3 is 0 and if d2 is 1 irrespective of these other low priority bits lower priority bits the output will be 1 0 corresponding to 2 so this is corresponding to 3 corresponding to 2 1 0 and okay so similarly uh, when d1 is 1 the output is 1 when d0 is 1 and when all of the other things are 0 then uh, the index is 0 so this is 0 and when all of them are 0 we can have the valid bit to be 0 indicating that this is not valid okay and at that point the output x y could be anything okay don't care so this could be a truth table for the priority encoder so as per this truth table which input bit has the highest priority we are assigning some priorities to the input right that means if that input is asserted then don't worry about the other inputs that input has the highest priority if that input bit is not asserted then look at the next priority input then look at the next priority input and so on so d3 has the highest priority then d2 then d1 and then d0 in this particular example okay so this is the truth table so how would we derive a circuit that implements this we could we can write out the um, full truth table substituting some values for this don't care or we could use a Carnot map substituting the don't care value with the one that makes the circuit most uh, simple so we could develop a K map for each of these outputs X V and valid and work out the logic so in this case for example if D3 is 1 then irrespective of the other inputs you have x y to be 1 1 and valid to be 1 if d3 is 1 right okay if d3 is 0 but d2 is 1 then we have some other combination and so on so we can work out the logic for each of these output bits using the Carnot maps so you are encouraged to try out and work out the uh, logical or boolean expression for each of these outputs let's now focus on writing the VHDL description of this priority encoder okay the exercise is to write this behavior or describe this this behavior using the process block okay so write an entity so remember you can choose this x values to be either 0 or 1 it doesn't matter choose the one that simplifies or results in the simplest possible description it can be 0 or it can be 1 this x is not the same as this x value of the standard logic type okay this does not this means don't care it can be 0 or it can be 1 use whichever value sim results in the simplest circuit this in standard logic the type x uh, means unresolved okay so don't uh, uninitial uh, un unresolved okay so don't um, don't confuse the two so the exercise for this lab is to write, uh, write the description for the priority encoder using a process block in VHDL okay so write an entity for this priority encoder so basically this is the interface the priority encoder uh, we want to have a 
एट टू थ्री एनकोडर प्रायोरिटी एनकोडर सो इट शुड हैव दी इनपुट्स डी जीरो अप टू डी सेवन सो दिस कैन बी अ सिंगल बिट स्टैंडर्ड लॉजिक वेक्टर डी ऑफ विथ एट ओके एंड इट हैज आउटपुट्स एक्स वाई जेड एंड वी देर इज अ टाइप ऑफ यूर सॉरी एक्स वाई जेड थ्री बिट आउटपुट एंड अ वैलिड आउटपुट ईच ऑफ वन बिट विथ दैट्स इट दिस इज द इनकोडर दिस अ प्रायोरिटी इनकोडर वेर द हाइस्ट प्रायोरिटी इज गिवन टू डी सेवन सो डी सेवन हैज द हाइस्ट प्रायोरिटी इफ डी सेवन इज वन देन दिस शुड भी वन 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 एंड वैलिड शुड भी वन द नेक्स्ट प्रायोरिटी इज गिवन टू डी सिक्स एंड सो वन सो यू आर आस्ट टू डिस्क्राइब दिस यूजिंग अ प्रोसेस ब्लॉक इन वी एच डी एल एंड देन राइट एन अप्रोप्रिएट टेस्ट पेंच एंड सबमिट ऑल कोड एज अ सिंगल फाइल सो सी यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट लैब थैंक्स